right, guys. It's episode six. We're back after a brief little break from the show. And uh, to let everyone at home know, it's been a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months since we recorded the first half of the season. Feels like a lifetime because there's been so many life changes. Life changes? Life you don't changes. say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you should say, not me. I mean, you had a studio open, right? Okay. That happened at I some did, point. I did, I did, I did, yeah. I mean, but maybe that happened before... The life change, before our last episode. I don't think much has changed. Much? You don't think much has changed at all? Yeah. How will uh, Mrs. Gar get home feel about that? I, my mother? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was the time or place. <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Garg's doing okay. She's at home, chilling, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, my boy, my co-host, my best friend, Anka Garg, has gotten married. It happened. I'm a married man. Can you imagine? That's all you guys got to do. If you're in your 30s and you want to get married, you got to have a podcast. At first season, you got to talk about being single. And boom! <laughs> Yo, maybe that was the thing that changed it. Even though I was already shouting her out in the first season, so she already existed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not in episode one. Not, I'm pretty sure there was a reference to Sour Patch Girl. Sh- should, should we replay some of the episodes in I mean, this episode I'm right sure, now? I'm pretty sure my Instagram is a constant replay of all of our episodes. <laughs> but uh, no, man, but it, it's been good, man. The wedding, the wedding went down. Well, you congratulations, all our viewers. Please slide up in our comments and congratulate my man, Ankh Garg. You, you had a great best man speech. Thank you. You showed up on time. What? No, no, you lied instances. to me, by the way. I lied to everyone. <laughs> I everyone. <laughs> I want to let you know, I showed up late, one hour, but I was on time. That's why I'm like... You were actually early. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what to do with myself. I'm never early in anything in my life. I don't know what to do when I'm early. Eat the food. It was out there and ready. Actually, I, you know, the problem with being involved, right, in whatever you do, you never get to eat the food, right? You didn't get to eat the food? I didn't get to eat the food. Can you imagine that? Man. I would run in. I asked my dad, can you make a plate for me? He's like, absolutely. I saw him make, which he outsourced to my mother, right? So my mother made the plate, you know, my dad brought it back. So I go, I'm like, dad, where's my plate? He's like, oh, right here. I was like, this looks happy. And he's like, yeah, I couldn't wait any longer because I wanted to take the pictures, right? That's fine. Went back and forth. And he's like, I just kept on eating. I didn't even know they had passed through service. All I got was like the buffet. I'm like, man, there's only four items in this whole place. Anger lied to me. So there's 13 different, you know, options. Yeah, there's no way you saw any of the food. There, were, there was so much. Yeah. There was six stations. Yeah, yeah. No, I definitely went to the station. I skipped all the vegetarian stuff, you know, and I went to all the meat stations. They know me by name. And um, I felt like I was at a churrascaria for a second. But, yeah, no, th- that, that's the problem, right? <clears throat> when you're so busy with uh, whether it's your business, uh, whether you're an event coordinator, you're a DJ, a makeup artist, you know, people in our service industry, we don't get to really enjoy the, um, the event sometimes. I love the event itself. You know. Oh, thank you. It was yeah. a good event. No, no, it was actually the best week of my life. You know, wow. I, I said this to you, um, in by a text because we don't communicate anymore. You know, you're married. I'm married now. You're married. Yeah, yeah, it's different. You it's know, this different. is the first time I'm actually seeing you having a one-on-one conversation since since July. It's not true. <laughs> one month has passed. No, that's not true. I saw you the other day. Yeah, that was a legal situation. So yeah, yeah. we were mandated. We're required to be, <laughs> we're required to be there. <laughs> hey, babe, I got to step out of the house. I'm legally required. Are you going to go see Riz? No, 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 no. I'm legally required to be there. <laughs> I mean, so what? We share an attorney. I mean, it's all good. <laughs> but uh, no, it was, it was a good time, man. Uh, I mean, officially married. It's been one month. Did you get to eat the food there? Yes. Oh, you did? Okay, I didn't okay. get to eat the the uh, the pass around yeah, or same the uh, the cocktail hour. but I know I saw you eat the entree I remember at one point you're like I paid for all this food I'm gonna sit down and eat all this food I just saw you dance floor was going crazy everyone was going wild and you're like I'm gonna eat my food I'm gonna eat my food I saw that uh, the TikTok of like the Asian bride who's just like singing along dancing while she's eating the food yeah I was like this is gonna be me for sure yeah yeah that wasn't not it was going to be you. It was 100% the essence of you for a solid 20 minutes. It seemed like there was an aura around you at that moment. And like nothing could penetrate you. You were so happy. You're like, I'm eating my food. You know, I got married. All my friends are here. My family is here. Life is good. And I'm eating food. <laughs> what was your favorite part? Um, I think the favorite part was the barat. Okay. Parat was definitely my favorite thing because the truth is I don't like parats because it's so early in the morning always, right? So I usually regret it. 
Um, and it reminds me of, you know, when we used to DJ back in the day and the uh, commercial van, the, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. the generator and all the gas and the fumes. So definitely had some PTSD from that. But I wasn't on that side. I wasn't in the van. I was on the other side. I'm like, so this is why people like Barats. This is a lot of fun, you know? Yeah, I mean, the first 30 seconds were a lot of fun. Then I remembered that I'm 37. <laughs> and I was like, uh, this is a little tough. I'm like, okay, time to slow down just a little bit. Yeah, because it just started, right? And I was like, how much more time? I looked at Jay, and I'm like, how much more time is this? He's like, well, we just got started for 20 <laughs> minutes. I'm like, oh, my God. I don't know how I'm going to make it through this. No, I had a lot of fun because... Um, Oh, I got all these little props and different things, and I was passing around to everybody. People were shooting stuff in the air and everything. Some of the stuff maybe I shouldn't have passed around, you know, but it was a lot of fun, you know, uh, just to see. To be on the side of actually enjoying the event instead of producing the event was so great. And just the um, the human connection part, uh, you could feel the love in the room. Everyone in there genuinely loved you including all the vendors that you paid. They really, really loved you. <laughs> I, uh, I now have a niece and nephew. Oh, and, congratulations. Um, the first interaction I have with someone who has talked to my niece after the wedding, who was in one of the dances, you know, the cutest girl ever. She goes, uh, so when is my aunt and uncle getting married again? I'm so excited to go back. And I'm like, I don't think I could go through that twice. Well, what do you think? Do you remember the event? I know... A lot of brides and grooms, they say it's just a blur. Um, do you remember it all? Yeah, I think I remember everything. Wow. I think there was only one moment of blackout rage. It was directed at a, at a vendor that didn't deserve it. But ev everything else, it was pretty calm and collected. And yeah. I remembered everything. Um, I mean, the fire alarm made sure that I didn't get any sleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, that happened at 5 a.m. in the middle of the, the morning, four hours before the farewell breakfast, 30 minutes after the after party ended, the whole, there's a fire at the hotel. That's wild. Ridiculous. So, you know, that's just good luck, though. That shows, you a know. A fire at the hotel is good luck? Yeah, yeah. You know, in our culture, everything's a good luck. If it rains during oh, the wedding, it's a good okay. luck. You know. Thank, thanks so much to the three guys who threw a cigarette butt in the trash can and lit the hotel on fire. That's wild, right? Definitely not part of my party, for, for, for reference. <laughs> It was three randoms that did it. They got arrested. That's why we know they're not part of our party. No, no, no. I mean, our party was tired from all the dancing because the dancing started in the morning, right? For those of you that have not experienced an Indian wedding, my big fat Indian wedding, um, Encores was probably one of the best examples. Um, it started, what, eight in the morning? The brat? I, you're still confused. I lied to you too well. Well, this you told me great. 7 a.m., my brother. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So the broth started at 9 a.m. Oh, you bastard. I hate this guy. We're not having a season three. <laughs> I, I told you 7 a.m., man. You had to be And there. I was there. Yeah, you were I there. I was there solo. You were what? there at 7.05. I saw you walking in with Starbucks coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, the Starbucks didn't even open till 7. I was like, this is wild. Mm. What did I do to deserve this? I don't want to be any more best friends or best fans. There's a lot of well, listen, work. Listen, you got to you got to show people what it's like to have a proper Punjabi style barat, right? Yeah. I mean, the turban experience was different. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever so, seen that before? I've never seen anyone wrap. What's it called? A safa? Safa. Yeah, I've yeah. never seen anyone wrap the thing. I always, I actually didn't even know it came. You got to wrap it. I thought it was like a fitted hat. It just came pre, you know, pre built in and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, that that's the. So you're saying like sardars. They do this every morning? Every morning. That's wild. You never saw any of the old OG tribe Sikh guys do it? They came in wrapped, and I see them always fixing it. Yeah, and yeah, that. no. I didn't know that. Like, I, I actually honestly wanted to call Har Mohit, you know, that night. Yeah, yeah. Like, yo, man, props to you. You've been doing this for, like, the past 30 years. Good for you. And can you imagine in, like, high school when these guys had to, like, take it off for, like, swim class or whatever mm. and then put it back on? Yeah, it's intense. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it's definitely a lot. Of, I mean, I had a difficult time just during the ceremony just to handle all that. But no, it was good. And then, you know, we danced throughout the entire reception. Um, so that was really nice. But again, I, I can tell you my perspective, which was a guess, you know, but being the man of the hour, what's it like being on top of the whole thing and seeing your friends and your family, everything you hope for and the future? So, I mean... We've been in the game for a minute, right? Doing vendor-related work. It was really interesting. At one point, I'm sitting in the chair in the front at the reception, and uh, meaning like in the main chair, not like you may sound chair. like you're a secretary. <laughs> How's no, the reception? Um, the sofa. I mean, I'm on yeah. stage. Right? Yeah, you're yeah, on stage. And my wife is next to me. Yeah. And by this time, you guys are already married. Right? Already okay. married, right? Cool. 
And I look out and like, you know, Jay's doing this thing. I'm seeing, saying, Jay so. did a phenomenal job, man. I, I got to tell you that he did a phenomenal job. Uh, I, I worked with them in the past, you know, just two vendors working together, but I never got to experience it. The energy, the professionalism, yeah. the consistency. Yo, shout out to you, Jay. You, you did a phenomenal job, man. You like, really, all, all aside, like you and me are, are great. Yeah, right? we are. But we don't touch his skill set as an MC. Yeah. I was blown away yeah. when the first time I, I legit saw him do it. The biggest problem with most MCs is you start with a bang, right? And then yeah. you just die up. Not Jay. From the beginning, before, till the end, you know, he was the first person on dance floor and the last person off. Yeah. And he's got some skits that are just so unique, like that perfect photo where everyone gets to run on with their cell phone. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone cool. get him my photo, get yeah, him my yeah, yeah. photo. <laughs> so uh, he's doing his thing <clears throat> out, out on the stage or, or, you know, the dance floor or whatever. And um, I'm looking around and I'm like, oh, so this is the view from over here. I mean, it's, it's cool and nice. Like, uh, everyone's looking at me. And um, I just remember looking around and being like, huh, it's different from up here. It's a very different perspective looking around. But uh, as I looked around the room, like, everyone was there for us. And that was awesome. Yeah. I never felt that before in my whole life. That's what I meant. That room was filled with so much love. That whole week was filled with so much love. And, um, and I actually haven't felt like that for a while, no matter what I do. Um, there's just, you know, like when they say like there's maybe if there's like a energy meter, there's a love meter, you know, I feel love for my parents, right? I feel love for my dog. Everyone knows I'm obsessed. But that love meter was the highest I felt in a very long time. So, and I, I've gone to a hundred weddings in my life. I never felt anything like that. So you did everything right. And you look like you weren't stressed like a lot of grooms, you know? Well, until your speech started. Then there was some stress. Hey, I did not say anything to jeopardize it then. But right now, maybe I can. <laughs> you know, at one point, I'm like, okay, all right, cool. He's going to break the rules that we said. He's about to jump into it. And then you do There it. are no rules. There and are no... Gentlemen, and then, are there any rules for best man speech? There is no rules, okay? When you set rules, that's when you're breaking the rule. And, and then... You know, you veered off and you like tugged at my, my mental strings. And I'm like, okay, cool. Never mind. I'm safe. All of a sudden, 30 seconds well, later, another one. you break up another one. And I'm like, oh no. Looking around, did she notice? She didn't notice. Did, no. did my mom notice? My mom didn't notice. Okay. I oh, left all the subliminal hints just to you. But to everyone else, it was a great motivational speech. <laughs> oh man. You were talking about the meaning of love, friendship, all sorts of stuff. Man. Yeah. It was good. Good. I'm, I'm happy that you enjoyed it. I, I truly meant it from the bottom of my heart. And um, th the number one question that I think everyone has is, so how much did you spend? Yeah, you know, if we're going to talk about how much we're going to spend, I just got to tell you about a moment that's going to live rent-free in my head forever. Okay. okay. So there's two moments that live rent-free in my head from this wedding. One involves you and one involves Saranya. Um, so it was the, uh, the first day of events, and it's the day that we get like covered in turmeric. And uh, she comes down, and I, I think it was you and Jenna, and you guys were just like, yo, your makeup's so on point. Who did your makeup today? And she just looks at you guys, and she's like, I'm not wearing any. <clears throat> and I just remember you being like, oh, wow. And I was like, yeah, wake up to this. It's, it's wild. And then um, that's awesome. I just like I just soaked that moment in, right? And then there was another moment where someone was like, is that Riz's car? I'm like, yeah, that's Riz's car. And they were like, oh, my God. Those doors, they're amazing. Why don't you have that car? <laughs> and I'm like, yo, my boy Riz has that car. That means I have it too. What do you mean? They had never imagined seeing anyone with a car that the door is open sideways. Oh, yeah, it's a spaceship. It, it was ridiculous. <laughs> I, they were blown away. Yeah. And I mean, I feel like the Model X has been around for a minute, right? Yeah. But most people go with the, the cheaper model. Right, mm -hmm. with the regular opening doors, and they don't they don't get the the X wing doors. Right, but um, that generation they were blown away. Good, I'm I'm glad that all my hard work and payments has given some people a lot of uh, happiness. I also end up becoming the official Uber driver of the wedding as well. I mean, the car drives itself. It does, but you know, yeah. I think everyone just want to hop in just for the doors. Like I would see them open, close, open. I'm like, <clears throat> there's a lifespan on these Falcon doors. I feel like there, there's so many things that happened at the wedding that yeah. I don't even know about. Yeah. Like, I mean, what happened when I wasn't around? I, I can only imagine all the stories that people have. And I've been collecting little bits and pieces. But, I mean, like you said, we haven't really had a chance to catch up fully. 
Yeah, yeah. So when we're not on camera, you got to fill me in on everything that went down. Whenever you are ready. But um, uh, I would relive that moment over and over. It was a great week. Um, I had a great time. I had a great time getting to know Sarania's family. And it's truly what I think a wedding should be. A wedding is the union of two different families together to be one. I think we all walked in maybe as two different families, but we definitely walked out as one family. I mean, you told everyone we came as a package. So welcome yeah. to the new family. Right? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I didn't need to welcome. I'm welcoming Sarania to our family. <laughs> so is there anything else on this topic of life changes that have happened during this break? I mean, I think the number one thing is, how does your life change now? Being married, how does your businesses, how does your perspective, does anything change for you? Did anything change? I think it's still early on in, in the idea of married life to really okay. fully understand all of that. I think when kids come into the picture, I feel like that's going to be... Wow, already thinking about kids on oh, yeah, Damn. I think, I think that's the Mendy be... hasn't even wiped off yet. You're already thinking about kids. <laughs> oh, the Mendy's gone, man. <laughs> Yo, but I found my name fast. Okay. Um, yeah, but I think when kids get in the picture, that's when real change is going to happen. So nothing changed for you? Like, you didn't get out that night and after you slept, you know? <laughs> Listen, man, I don't know how anyone gets, gets a big, fat Indian wedding and then flies out to a honeymoon the next day. Wild. It's, yeah. it's crazy, right? Because the next three days, I was a zombie. Oh, okay. And so, I mean, we postponed the honeymoon. Mm -hmm. And so we leave for the honeymoon in, in like three, four weeks. When he's saying we, that means me too. We're all going to go together. Yeah, yeah, she knows. She knows. Yeah. She knows you're coming. Um, so we leave for the honeymoon in a couple of weeks. And so I feel like after the honeymoon is when I feel like, okay, now it's time to enter that next phase. Because mm. I'm still in the transition phase right okay. now. Yeah, what do they call that? Like, uh, it's like a, they call it a honeymoon phase, don't they? Phase, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, it's all butterflies and everything. Yeah. So, so that's yeah, good. good times. That's good. So, I mean, enjoy this as long as you can, right? Um, because, you know, now it's two, right? You're, it's two people. It's, Three. It's all, oh, yeah. And a half. And a half, right. Ziggy. Um, so, you got to work harder. But it's also nice because I think you have a partner in crime, right? So, is she supportive of your entrepreneur spirit or does Absolutely. she want you? Yeah, okay. Yeah, of course. She doesn't say, like, oh, buckle down. I want you to go get a desk job so I could see you. No, no she don't care about none of that. But Good. the one thing that she's not being supportive about, I'm going to go ahead and put her on blast. Sorry, babe. Um, she won't let me get a dog yet. Oh, no, no, no. None of us are supportive of you getting a dog. No, she, I, she, was like, she was like, baby first, dog second. I'm like, wait, what? I think it's a great idea. I think you should get the dog first. You got to train the dog before the baby show up. That's true. I think she's training you right now. So oh, she's done training you. <laughs> then you can so get much. a dog. Then you can get a baby. How about that? Okay. All right, as long as I get a dog at some point. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. What about you? Anything you want to uh, wrap up? Any questions for me for life changes? I mean, I think you went through a lot of life changes. There's expansion of your businesses. Yep. I mean, I couldn't. I can't count the number of buildings Happy to Deliver is in now. It's outrageous. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're a B two B delivery. You had solution. a big event. Yeah, hundred thousand deliveries. Yeah, and you know, since then, right? That was only May, and right now we're in August. Um, so three months. So in ninety days, we are actually about to reach two hundred thousand deliveries. That's wild. You're gonna right. hit a million soon enough, man. That's my goal. It's gonna I, be crazy. We're gonna throw a big party. I'll be at that one. Cool. I already got a tux. <laughs> you already have a tux. <laughs> oh no, I know who's the MC. So we got that down. But um, no, I, I mean, I think that's it. I think everyone at home can happily know that things are changing and moving in a positive direction for both of us. Mm -hmm. But there's only one question that I have for you to wrap up this episode. Go for it, brother. Did my wedding qualify as a rock star wedding? Did your wedding qualify? Your wife qualifies as a rock star? So hells yeah, you nice, had a rock star nice. wedding. That's all. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll catch you on the next episode.